What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be deflasking some Philodendron White uh, Wizard. And today I'm actually following the trend and I'm actually going to be using some Fluvo Stratum. So it's been a trend that some people have been using a Fluvo Stratum to uh, take some cuttings out of the, um, uh, your plants and then use this which is uh, actually um, aquatic uh, soil, it's uh, for aquariums to uh, root their plants. Now the concept is very simple, you basically um, take your cutting, put it into some stratum and because this is full of minerals and also because this is uh, made for aquariums, it is, means to, is uh, meant to be uh, underwater, that means that you don't have that issues with like uh, fungus or contamination growing in your uh, soil or sphagnum or pin moss, whatever you're using, uh, coco coir. Um, basically the problem we have, especially when, when taking plants out of tissue culture, is that we have to keep a very high humidity to, whenever you deflask in the plants, have a very high humidity and then slowly decrease the, the humidity. The problem with that uh, is that when you're using soil, um, sphagnum, pit moss or coco coir or whatever, uh, the, uh, you have the uh, risk of uh, contamination. You may see some fungus growing and that, that's a very common problem. And then when that happens, you end up losing a lot of your plants. So with um, using fluvol stratum, um, in theory, you, uh, you shouldn't see that because this is meant to be used underwater. And for that reason, I think this will do a much better job with um, acclimating some plants. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to take some of these uh, plants out of these uh, biocouplers. Now, um, I'm not going to be taking, um, reusing any of these plants. They're, they're all going into um, soil, so I'm going to take the plants. So let me show you to you. They are looking very nice. Look at this amount of variegation. Looks fantastic. The plants look great. And um, and it is time to move so to, to, uh, to soil try to, to root them. Now some of these uh, leaves, as you can see there, they are look very white, very albino looking. So I'm not sure how well they would do in, um, now they are out of tissue culture. Uh, hopefully they do well, um, but it's something that I need to test out. So that's why I'm also doing this experiment. So let me, I want to um, collect as many plants as I can, and then I want to set up all the media here. All right, so after a while, this is all I was able to get. There are actually a lot of plants in here. They are so small. Uh, some of these are super, super tiny. Um, but I mean, taking in consideration that this used to be two small clumps of plants uh, just a, a couple of months ago. And look at the amount of plants that I have now. Some of these are uh, very good size uh, with a very fantastic variegation. And some of these, they are really, really small. Uh, now, this is what happens when you're using a, a lot of uh, hormones, uh, like cytokines, in this case, the BA, where um, you get a lot of multiplication, as you can see, but you're also getting a lot of very, very small plants. So in the future, I mean, I am working on a series on trying to find the best tissue culture media for philodendrons. Uh, because uh, trying to work like this is, to, is not easy. It takes a long time, it is uh, difficult. I'm actually um, damaging some of these plants as I trying to um, split them. So, but I mean, this is what I have. I mean, and they don't have any roots. As you can see, they, none of the plants have any roots. Uh, maybe, maybe this one have a little tiny root here, uh, but nothing uh, major in particular. So what I want to do, now this is going to be a great test for the uh, flubol stratum. If I can make them root, uh, some of these plants, they are really, really small. Let's see how many of these can uh, do survive. Then that will be a great test for the flubol stratum, especially on these tissue culture plants. So let me prepare the pots and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is what I have. Um, this is a 72 cell tray where I put all the fluvial stratum and then I careful put um, a couple of plants on each. So, I mean, like I say, this used to be two small plants and now I, oh, well over a hundred plants. Now a lot of these may not survive, 
but hopefully they will do well and then i'll still get a, a get get a good percentage of plants uh, to root so they are very small we'll see how they do but then i will see i mean i will check back in like a couple of weeks and see how they do but this is how they're looking couple of decent sized plants but most of them are very small so all right so i'm going to check back in a couple of weeks now for you it's just going to be a few seconds and then i'll be right back all right so it has been just over two weeks and most of the plants are still looking very well there are some that uh, they die but it is normal i didn't expect to have a hundred percent success especially because some of these plants were very very small but you can see some of them are growing new leaves so that's very good news uh, not a lot of roots yet so far um, like let's see maybe a couple of small roots in there but nothing too big but at the moment I if they I at the moment I'm looking for more of the plant growth uh, I'm, I'm sure as as they get bigger they want to start growing some um, some roots but they're looking very good this is a uh, philodendron white wizard they're actually doing very good I'm fairly convinced of the stratum now the the thing of having a uh, contamination free uh, was no completely true i did go uh, some fungus growing on some of these plants but i think the main reason was because i went directly from the biocoupler which has liquid media directly to to the stratum i didn't rinse the plants which is something i should have done uh, be, that's something because uh, it's like a way it didn't have any gel in media so it's like i didn't even bother rinse it, rinsing the plants so that's something that you 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 must do um rinse the plants always because the plants they were still wet and then whenever they were exposed to the environments they they grow a lot of uh, some fungus so they're doing very well uh, they're doing actually very well that uh, i'm convinced now of the stratum so i'm actually made another tray so let me show you okay so this is the other tray uh this is uh, philodendron white knight um they were also very small you can see they're very tiny they're probably like each of these clones have at least maybe five to ten plants so uh, 50 cells so it's probably around 500 plants in here so let's see how many i get uh, how many survive but if i can get at least one plant into each cell i'll be very happy i mean but they're doing well i didn't realize how much water the stratum actually actually absorbs whenever i did the other one i don't know you noticed but some of the cells they, they look like they need a, they needed more uh, this time i place the stratum dry on each cell and then i fill the tray which actually took a lot of water i was using this uh, two liter pitcher and i i fill it up twice so i added four liters of water which just over a gallon of water into this tray and that did it i mean that's pretty much perfect i will keep you updated on how these plants do in the future now if you want to see that subscribe to the channel and also check our uh, other social media especially like tiktok and instagram that's where i'm going to be posting uh maybe short clips uh with updates on these plants uh to see how they do in the future I hope you have enjoyed the video and then I will see you in the next time. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these Tissue Culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.